Good morning. It's it's June 1st. I'm sorry, July 1st. And it's Tuesday morning. And we're now in the book of 1 Thessalonians. Um, I'm not going to read all of Paul's greetings, but I want to just get down to uh, chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Brothers whom God loves, we know that you have, uh, he has chosen you. For the gospel we brought did not come to you with words only. This is very important. God's just not a bunch of words. But also with power. Power in the authority of Christ is what he's talking about. With the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit that fills you and empowers you. And with deep conviction. Not judgment, but conviction. So the Holy Spirit convicts your sins so you can repent and draw closer to the Lord. Indeed, you know what kind of people we've proved to be while we were with you, acting on your behalf. This is so important because there's so many dead churches out there and so many really dead Christians who don't act in the power or the conviction. And we're not talking about judgment. Conviction is when you, when you know you're wrong, okay, and it leads you to repentance and, and drawing closer to Christ. And, and the, you know, people talk religion, well, what's your religion? No, 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 no. What's your relationship with Christ? Where are you? Are you feeding on the, the milk of like a baby? Are you crawling? Are you walking? Are you running in Christ? Are you eating uh, uh, big meals and, and taking in the Word of God and letting it fill you and continually uh, uh, cut the, the sin out of your heart and your mind? This is what they're talking about with the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and not just a bunch of words and ceremonial religious acts and performances. We're talking about a true relationship with Jesus Christ and acting in the authority through the Holy Spirit in order to be part of the kingdom of God. Father, Lord, I just thank you. Thank you for your love. I thank you for the convicting spirits that come into us, Lord, from the Holy Spirit. That's your love that's correcting us. Like a father or a parent who corrects a child, who do it in love for their own safety and harm, so that they may live. Your commandments tell you that, your commandments tell us that obey your mother and father so you may have life. So therefore, Father, your convictions we obey. That's correcting so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Father, I pray that you continue to grow us and, and show us the way, direct our path, whether straight, left, or right. Lord, speak to us through your Holy Spirit so that we may stay out of sin and we may be convicted on the things that are right and of the light and of you and not of the darkness. Father, we thank you and we praise you and we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen.